You're probably using Minichat to automate your Instagram comments, which is great. Yeah! But, and I say this with love, you're leaving a critical amount of engagement, audience growth, and sales on the table. Like, I went to the party and left before the pizza arrived level of opportunity. No! You're literally missing connections, as in followers, leads, customers, super fans, and so many more, just drifting right by you like ghosts in the algorithm. So today, I'm gonna walk you through five mini chat features which you probably aren't using. This is a great way to ensure you won't miss any more connections. So let's start with feature number one, multi-trigger automations. Multi-trigger automations let you build one single automation that is triggered by multiple different entry points. The more ways to trigger your automation, the easier it is for your customers to get in contact with you and in turn, buy from you. You're gonna have more sales and more happy little notifications blowing up your phone. Let's go! And as you probably already know, people do not behave predictably. You tell them to comment, all of a sudden they're DMing you, responding to your story, calling your house, sending you carrier pigeons. So multi-trigger automations aim to accommodate that. This lets you capture all of your customers. Let's dive into Minichat and I'll show you how to set it up. So we're on the homepage right now. I'm gonna go to automations and then I'm gonna go to new automation on the top right. You should see an area that has templates where you can choose among a million different ways that you can start an automation. All you have to do to start a multi-trigger automation is to click one of these templates that says quick automation. You can also select this from the homepage where it says start here. And you see quick automation, right? And then all you have to do to start a multi-trigger automation is in addition to selecting one of the main triggers, right? So in this one, we'll select any post or reel. And then to do multi-trigger, all you have to do is fill in these two options under or when they. So, or when they reply to a story, yes. Yeah, or when they DM me, yes. And then this comment or DM has keyword. I'll use that as an example. So now when anybody comments on any post or reel, or when they reply to any story or DM me this specific keyword, right? I can change it to price, alien, whatever keyword I instruct and add to my content as a call to action. I put that here and then now there would be a million ways to trigger this automation. When someone comments, when someone replies to my story, or if someone replies to my DM. I can also select a specific story or I can select a specific poster reel. And then now this automation will only trigger on this poster reel. So they'll send this, they'll send, send me the link, they select send me the link, and then I'll say, here is the link. They will add a link, click me, minichat.com. And follow up DM if they don't. Awesome. This is how you set up a multi-trigger automation. Now I can go up here and click go live. And amazing, and now it's live on my account, which is really exciting. And then this leads us into number two, the flow builder. The flow builder is a way you can get a little bit more in depth with all of your automations. It is the original bread and butter of Minichat, the place where you can customize, map, tweak, remix, and do all of the above. It's like you're running mission control at NASA. Quick automation is fast and easy. Think of it like a microwave. The flow builder is like a full powered kitchen very powerful. You can build entire conversation paths, add conditions, weave different channels, and basically scope a full-blown automation masterpiece right in the Flow Builder. Let me show you how to access it and then show you some of the options in there as well. Okay, so now I'm back at the homepage and this is how I'm gonna open up the Flow Builder. I can select on any of the templates where it says Flow Builder on the bottom left, or I can also go to Automation, select New Automation, once again, I can select any of the options that say Flow Builder from the template pop-up that appears, or I can select Start from Scratch. Then I can go with Start with a Blank. And voila, now I'm in the Flow Builder. So in the Flow Builder, it's the exact same logic as Quick Automations, and here you can select from any sort of different trigger that we have. So we have a new one. User shares your poster reel as a story. Send the message after 30 seconds. Awesome. And I could also do sends a message and then I could do Instagram as my keyword. So now if someone shares this poster reel or if a user sends a message, I can send, hey there, do you want my guide? 
click below. I can edit all the text, I can add emojis, and then I can do a lot more complicated things, but we don't have to get into that right now. All you have to do is understand the idea behind the flow builder. And then this leads perfectly into the next thing, which I think is a really powerful tool, number of followers condition. This condition lets you treat famous Instagram influencers like VIPs that they are. So let's say you like to do brand collabs with people that have over 100,000 or over 500,000 or over a million followers. Maybe you wanna do special outreach for just those people. I got just the thing for you. So let's say they enter this automation. After we send this message, we can go to wait, smart delay, another feature which you should be using. Now let's go to two minutes. And then after that, we're gonna do next step, condition. Condition is followers. And we'll go to system fields and then we'll check follower count on Instagram. And if the follower count is greater than 100,000, Awesome. So now we've created this condition, right? And this condition shows that we're going to wait two minutes. That's a smart delay. And we'll send it to a condition. And the condition will say if the follower count on Instagram is over 100,000. If the contact doesn't match any of these conditions, we'll say thank you so much. We hope you enjoy the guide. Let us know if you have any questions. And then on top, we can select if the follower count is greater than 100,000. We'll go here and say, hey, thanks for your interest. We just checked out your account. Would you be interested in a clap? And then you can select yes under a quick reply or no. Or what you can do instead of a quick reply is if you could just go, we'll go to delete, delete, and then you can make it as a button as well. Okay, cool. So now we're sending them a message if they have a follower account over 100,000, ask them if they want to collab, and then they can click yes. Cool. Someone from my team will be in touch shortly. Sounds good. Let me know if you change your mind. Cool. So this flow can change a million different ways. You can change these options, but that's generally the idea, right? We've filtered out what message we wanna send and we're automatically following up with people that have over 100,000 followers so you can ask them some cool stuff on autopilot. So this is a great opportunity to go ahead and engage people automatically that could be valuable for your account. No more missed connections. Now, let's say you wanna send different messages to different people. Let's say you have a ton of different people reaching out to you and you wanna make sure it doesn't sound robotic. I have something for you as well. And that's gonna be feature number four, the randomizer. So let's say I wanna send different messages to different Instagram accounts. I can go here, create another node and add a randomizer. And then now you can see it has 50-50. So now one, half the people are going to be asked for a brand collab. I'm going to copy, I'm going to paste, bring this up here. We're going to do option A up here. And then maybe instead of asking for a collab, I can ask a free coaching call. So now 50% of people are going to get this message. 50% of people are going to get this message. You can also use this to filter to different team members. Um, if you have a bunch of people managing your live chat, you can also add different options to randomizer. So it's gonna automatically update, I think up to six. So another way not to miss any more connections to make your communications more authentic. And lastly, feature number five is gonna be something that will be useful no matter what type of business you are. It's called the action node. I'm gonna show you how to use it. So as you can see, we've used the smart delay, we've used the condition, used a randomizer, and now we've gotten to a point where somebody has said yes, they want a free coaching call. So I'm gonna go, after they've selected yes, we're gonna go to cool, someone from my team will be in touch shortly. Then what we can do is do next step, actions. We're gonna select action, and then we're gonna go to assign conversation. Now I'm gonna be able to choose between a handful of team members. It's gonna go assign conversation, and then 
I'm gonna also select add action and it's gonna be mark conversation as open. This is a very qualified lead, right? If we go back, we'll see that this person has downloaded my guide. This person has a follower count over 100,000. They've said yes, they want a free coaching call. And then they're gonna be assigned to me in the conversation and then the mark conversation as open. So then when I go to live chat section right here, I'll go in and be able to say, hey, this person is assigned to me and then I will be able to see it. I'll also get a notification on my mini chat mobile app and that will be a huge opportunity for me to jump in and immediately talk to that person. And that is why actions are so viable and something you should definitely look into. So assign conversation, mark them as open. You can also do a ton of really awesome things with actions. I mean, this is just the tip of the iceberg. I can do things such as add tags, set user data with them. I can also start another automation, uh, which is really exciting. I can also connect my account to different integrations and integrate with different platforms. I can also send their information to a Google Sheet. So that's why actions are really useful. And these are just five of the many ways that Minichat can help you grow your online business and make more money using Instagram. Most importantly, we're here to make sure you don't miss any more opportunities. If you try even one of these features, your automations are gonna glow up and your account is gonna be so much more successful. You're gonna save time and make way more money for your business. So if you end up using just one of these features and you thought this was helpful, please make sure to like and subscribe to this video and comment below about your thoughts, what you would like to learn next. We are super excited to hear from you. See you in the next video. Thanks. Thank you.